Alison Berger here for Blockchain Global News. I'm at Token Match in New York City and I am sitting with the CEO and founder of Moneta Pro, Stephen Mead. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Thanks for joining me. Always fun. So tell me a little bit about Moneta Pro. Uh, Moneta Pro is a global trade platform for what's called corporate barter. Mm -hmm. These are big multinational companies, uh, Fords, Caterpillars, Omnicoms, hotel groups who are trading extra assets. So it's I've got cars, you have computers, let's find a way to trade. Mm -hmm. And we've built a system, it's almost like a, an, an Amazon on steroids. <laughs> I like that, I really do. So how have you used the blockchain in your industry? Well, the blockchain for us, we, we call it a very light touch solution. So what I mean by that is, without getting pedantic and deep, if I'm Ford and I transfer cars to you, I don't technically sell them, I gave them to you. Okay. Well, that doesn't update my inventory system. So when I get audited at the end of the year as a public company, I have assets like cars that are missing. Mm. That's a problem. Yeah, it is a problem. So we're using blockchain to write the invoice to a data record. And now that company has a record that A, proves they transferred an asset and B, which ones. Mm. So it keeps them in what's called compliance. Uh, so we're not making them do anything unique on blockchain. They don't have to install. Mm -hmm. We're utilizing it in a way that solves a big problem for them, but they don't really have to do anything. We're just giving them a data set using a blockchain ledger. Very helpful. Yeah, thank now, you. Now, I know there's a, um, some history behind the name Mineta Pro. How did you come about that? Yeah, I actually brought it. Not everybody knows. This is kind of interesting. If we can, I don't know if we can get it close <laughs> enough there. Um, you know, I saw you take that out of your pocket. And I go, is that like a lucky charm? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, it looks like a lucky charm. It, it's, to me, was fascinating. I like naming all of my companies. And when we looked at this, the world of commerce started out as barter. Mm -hmm. I've got chickens. You've got milk. Hey, let's trade. The problem came down if you want eggs and I don't want your whole you know, carton of milk or a cow, we didn't have what's called portability. First forms of portable commerce ever were these Mineta seashells. Ah. So the first seashells ever were the first forms of currency that created what's called portability. Okay. Commerce cannot exist without portability. Exactly. So the word money actually comes from Mineta, from the shell. So when we looked at Mineta Pro, we believe it's interesting, we've gone full circle from barter at the beginning of commerce to now we're just automating it for big companies. That's great, and I was gonna ask you, how is it helping other companies and how are you influencing the industry? Well, so the big companies already do this activity, but there's three main reasons they do it that are very simple if you, if you follow a process. If I'm the CEO of a company, we can use Ford, we can use anybody. At the end of the year, Ford has an option, mm -hmm. and we've all seen it, they can discount a car. So if you have a million dollars worth of cars, you discount at 20%, you lose that value, and then you sell it and pay taxes. If I can call you up and say, hey, Allison, I know you're about to buy a bunch of cars for your salespeople at your computer company, let's make a deal. I'll give you a million dollars worth of cars. You give me a million dollars worth of computers, we'll call it even. That does four things. One, I get rid of the cars at full value. Mm -hmm. Two, I don't discount and sell them and pay taxes. I get computers back from you without having to actually spend cash. So that cash remains on my balance sheet. That transaction is tax free. Mm -hmm. And I don't get rid of cars at a discount so I don't kill what's called my channel. Right. I have new buyers coming in. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of financial leverage in this world of corporate trade. It just to date hasn't been built inside an actual online platform. And we're providing the efficiency for companies to do an activity that they're already doing. Right. Fantastic. Thank you. So let me ask, how has Token Match been for you so far today? Uh, Token Match has been great. We will know more. We're actually presenting over lunch, so we're excited about that. We're one of the, the two companies selected to present to the entire audience. How do you feel? Uh, a little I, nervous? No. <laughs> no. Ner we've been doing this a long time, so not the nervous side. Actually, just mm -hmm. more excited. We're excited for the opportunity with Mineta Pro and then uh, we're excited for what Michael and, and the group has done with Token Match, this kind of consolidated framework of getting investors and presenters in a room, saving time, creating efficiency in the, the presentation schedules, we're excited about. Any expectations? What are you looking mm -hmm. forward to hearing? Muted expectations. We go into every event with um, tempered enthusiasm. <laughs> 
not too high, not too low. That way we're never disappointed. No but when great things happen and they happen a lot, we're also not overly, you know, embracing the enthusiasm. We try and maintain an even keel. What we're looking forward to here though is the group of investors in New York mm -hmm. come out of traditional finance. Mineta Pro is really a fintech platform. We're a financial settlement tool. We're technically what's called a closed loop platform. Mm -hmm. Meaning if I'm Ford and I sell you cars and I get credits to buy something else, those credits only exist in our network. Right. The, the finance industry of New York tends to like things. So we think or hope this group will at least understand what we're doing and that tends to get investors a little more excited if they understand what you're doing. Exactly. Well, you didn't disappoint me, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, I'm Allison Berger for Blockchain Global News.